Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And just as promised, remember, I had you guys do some polls throughout the week that or I wanted you all to respond to some polls that I had put out there on the material that I was covering for this previous week. So, yes, the poll results are in. They are in. OK, and I'm just ready and willing to give them to you. The results, that is. All right. Remember when I put out a post. Um, it read, do you think Mike Hill would be a good husband to Cynthia Bailey? And 53% of you all said no, while 47% of you all said yes. The next polling question was, do you think Cynthia Bailey from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, ex-husband Peter Thomas, is a good businessman? The poll results Resulted in 93% of you all saying no, while 7% of you all said yes. The next polling question was, what Atlanta housewife is your favorite? And this is when I know it was going to be an overwhelming response. But in a sense, it was split. It was really split four different ways. I couldn't believe it because I really thought Kenya Moore would just have would have just taken the poll and ran with it without a shadow of a doubt. But you all said 31% said Kenya Moore, while 21% said Nene Leakes. Hmm. So that's telling. That's a telltale sign right there. Kenya does not run at all, do she? Okay. But Portia Williams came in, came in with a 28%. So it's like, okay, y'all are more so liking Kenya Moore and Portia Williams. Now, would anybody would have seen that coming? And then they're trying to make like their friends, their besties on the show, upcoming show. And they playing nice in the streets because they got their daughters running together. Now, what? who would have ever thought that those two, okay, the ones that actually got the fighting, I mean, put hands on would result in friends, best buds. But like I said, just cause it's like that today don't mean it's going to be like that when the season starts and after the season is over with, meaning 12, okay? So y'all keep in tune, stay in tune with my channel for all the poll results as well as commentary from your favorites of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But let's go back on. Let's get on into the finishing parts of the survey that I had put out there for y'all to partake of. I asked you another question. I asked, is Cynthia Bailey crazy to let her only young daughter move in with my kill? And you, you all responses were 78% said yes. Okay. While it was tied at 11% saying you didn't know or, or no. <coughs> and the other one was undecided. <coughs> so we both that uh, those two sections were tied at 11%. Okay, I thought it would be blown out of the woodwork with 100% saying uh, yes, but it didn't go that way. Only 78% said yes, <coughs> and it was split right down the middle at 11% with no and undecided. Okay, I asked you another question throughout the week uh, when I was putting out videos. Do you think T.I.? The rapper from Atlanta, Georgia, okay, was wrong for saying the church had intended to exploit him. Okay, meaning New Birth Missionary Church. He went there to see uh, Kanye perform. And if y'all didn't um, understand or didn't get any, rever um, what do you call it, reference about it, uh, refer back to my video. Um, I don't forgot what it was titled, but it, it had T.I.'s name in it. So it, it shouldn't be too hard to find because I just did it this previous week. OK, but anyway, the question was, do you think T.I. the rapper was wrong for saying the church he attended here in Atlanta, Georgia, was trying to exploit him for money? An overwhelming uh, group of you all said 66 66 percent said no, while 20 percent said yes. And the other or remainder, 14 percent of you all said maybe. OK, um, then we had another poll that said, uh, should Cynthia Bailey wait on marrying Mike Hill in the near future? Sixty five percent of you all said yes. Fifteen percent of you all 
uh, tied between no and undecided, and 4% was maybe. Okay, the next um, poll question was, do you think Cynthia Bailey, uh, Bailey is wrong to let her daughter Noel move in with her fiancé, and I did stress that fiancé, not husband, okay, Mike Hill, and she doesn't live there permanently, meaning Cynthia doesn't live or reside on a full-time basis in L.A. with Mike while her daughter is there seven days a week, okay? Uh, but the polling question read, do you think Cynthia Bailey is wrong to let her daughter, Noel, to move in with her fiancé, Mike Hill, and she doesn't live there permanently. 94% overwhelmingly said yes. Cynthia was crazy. All right. And wrong. And 6% said maybe, while 0% said no. Okay. The next one was, do you think bringing back Kenya Moore to the show, meaning the Real Housewives of Atlanta, will bring in higher ratings ever seen before? And you guys said 58% said yes, 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 yes. 22% said no. And a remaining 20% said maybe. All right. And the last and final poll question of the week was, do you think season 12 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta will be the best ever? Overwhelmingly responded 48%. Uh, maybe. 38% said yes. And 14% said no. And that was the conclusion of last week's polling questions that matched up with the videos that I actually put out. So, see, I am very in tune with you, um, uh, gentlemen and ladies. I want to know basically your opinion. So, I'm coming at you both ways. I'm asking you to tell me what you think Uh in my com about my commentary and how I pretty much you know put it out to you all, but you didn't really have to say too much because you know how I feel about it because I'm giving you my opinion along with the commentary. Then I'm asking you all to get down in those comments. Tell me what you really think. Now, half the time, you guys, you don't have to tell me, but I enjoy it that you don't like me, that you don't understand what I'm saying. Ooh, it was so much. But I'm like, okay, I can take the heat. Got thick skin. So when y'all want to mow my ass down, I can take it. I got grass still going out back there. Okay. But what I want to know is how you feel about the information or the subject that I'm talking about. Not exactly that you hate them. Uh, you think they're crazy and just that third. Just tell me about what I am presenting to you all. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of the conversation. What don't you like? of this person that I'm speaking about or giving my opinion about, about their actions that they displayed that made me have to do a video on their behinds in the first place. That's what I'm looking for. And I'm looking for you all to be very nice in the playground, the comment section with one another. We don't need to call people stupid or, you know, uh, you know, just attacking that person for having a valued opinion. Because everybody's opinion has value to it, whether you agree with it or not. You know what I'm saying? It's just, just how it is, okay? So, therefore, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for what you feel about the subject matter that I'm putting out on that particular subject I'm talking about. So, there won't be any um, misunderstanding. But then, like I said, if you still want to get in there, call me everything but the child of God. That's fine. That's fine. But it's kind of defeating the purpose of me getting to know you, getting to know your stance, your viewpoints, your perspectives, and being able to say, well, okay, I did. Uh, okay, I did shoot straight from the hip. I didn't even think about that particular uh, way of viewing things. Because, see, everybody uh, have different ways of viewing Things. And it has to, a lot to do uh, with about their life experiences or uh, maybe they didn't have those experiences. They were living a sheltered life or maybe they just lived a life where nothing really fazed them. Not poverty, not racism, not discrimination, uh, not having a man in their life, not having a bad family upbringing. You know, some people just wasn't touched with any bad things, but a lot of us have been through some things. We have been through some trials and tribulations, okay? So it's not something that's coming off our head of emptiness of not understanding a situation. It's either you've either been in that situation before and you can speak on it with passion or you just forming your own opinion about it and have no regard or no stance to even 
uh, be able to base an opinion on it because you're going by speculation, in the windows and all that kind of stuff. OK, but I'm looking for people that have actually, you know, can speak on some subjects and not necessarily tell me your whole life story or how you got to that point and why you're acting like this. But to be able to give me a well thought out uh, point of view instead of, you know, you ugly, you fat. You you can't talk right. That that, that that takes away all from what I'm trying to present on my show. I want to know. Get deep with yourself. Tell me what's going on on them uh, polls I put out as well as commentary I put out. Speak your mind because you're going to do it anyway. Either you're going to be talking to yourself or your TV when you see it or you're going to talk about it through co-workers at work or friends and family members, why not be on a platform where everybody can see your opinions and they can learn something prof uh, profitable from you because you are your best experience, okay? So that's basically what I'm saying. And I will continue to do polls because I, like I said, if I don't get y'all opinion on my comment section up under my video, you damn sure gonna give it to me over there in my polling results, which I have for you all to do. You can actually respond to me there as well. Or you can just check yes, no, maybe undecided or whatever. But the polls speak, the people have spoken. So it's in truth, of what you feel. So please get over in them comments, especially them team twirls uh, out there or any other uh, favorite housewives that you know I do on the regular. Get in there and support your um, your uh, character over there because I ain't going to say these people really act like this in real life, but I, I always speculate that if, I always say if you are acting like this in real life and you don't took it off screen, then there's a problem. I am going to put my opinion on it because I know what's on that show. Half of it is scripted. Half of it, you got to give back because you don't took checks and money and put it in your bank or spent it for drama. So you have to give us, you know, some of that. You know what I'm saying? You have to pay your part in giving us that drama. But when you just totally drama feel everywhere, I'm like, damn, you want a big paycheck increase when it comes back to renegotiating your contract. Because you show out. I can't even tell you if you were for real or you weren't. You were just a good ass actor or actress. Okay. So I'd be ready to like get them 5% because they show out. I had they had me waiting and anticipating their every move on season 12 or uh, episode one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm talking about. It's, it's all this stuff to me. It's just mindless drama. It's something like when you're looking at TV and you, you know, you have your favorite shows you like to uh, partake of and you don't have nobody really there to talk about it. You know, like an after show buzz or whatever. But I'm here. I'm here for you guys every day, all day. Except for when I had to go to work and live in the real life, <laughs> live, live in the real world. But I still am dedicated. I still try to come home, see what's going on with my family, try to have some words, some banter and, and, and see how their life went throughout the day. Play with the puppies and all of that. Then I get on the tube and give y'all a video. OK, because it has to be something out there that express uh, something that make me think like, hmm, now why did they do that? And they know they better than that. God, dog, let me do a video because I'm concerned, okay? And I'm frustrated that these women or these men or uh, or these families are you know, doing things to their kids. I got, to, I got to talk about it, okay? So why not come to my platform and do what I got to do? But again, uh, I'm going to be short, quick to the point. It ain't uh, get to the point. This is my polling result, and I can talk as long as I want to. But I'm trying to uh, stay to my true thing of 20 minutes or less. Sometimes I may have to go over depending on how I feel and the emotions are, are, are going. And if I want to bring in my my singing antics that y'all some like, some of y'all don't like, okay? Hell, you might see me beating on the drum. Just wait until I get my camera and y'all can really see all of my uh, facial expressions. But I'm not really trying to get a camera because I'm kind of confused. I'm looking at video, YouTube videos myself on the uh, correct equipment because the only thing I really want to replace is get me another good computer because the one that I've been working on is about seven years old. I done did a lot with it uh, for my business side as well as um, personal side interest that I, you know, be doing, you know, little stuff on the computer. So I do need to update it. A very good computer system. I kind of see the one that I want, but we're just going to see how this revenue flow in with you all keeping, uh, keeping subscribing to me, liking my videos, sharing my videos. But mostly, you know, like I said, 
share, like my videos, share my videos, and pretty much subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to me because that's going to help me. I don't need to try to uh, tell y'all to send me money so I can get equipment this, that, and third. No, I don't feel like doing that because sometimes I might talk about somebody y'all don't like and then y'all be like, oh, well, I gave you money. I supported you. And then oh, you might not like some. I did. You be like, I want my money back. And I'm like, uh-uh. Ain't no Indian giving over him. Once you gave it, I received it. It's done. It's gone. So I've seen a lot of people on my lifetime on YouTube, <coughs> uh, which is really roughly three years, but then it's really maybe two uh, because I took almost six months off and then come to the tube because I was just enjoying life and I, that really wasn't something I wanted to do. But then, you know, I found myself talking a lot and it wasn't necessarily with people I wanted to have a discussion with because sometimes I am long winded, as you know, I can be. And sometimes in the middle of the night, I'm doing something. I want to talk about it because I'm one of them kind of people that, you know. I, I got most talkative in high school, so you should tell that I like to talk and I have opinions on pretty much anything that I feel I want to express my opinions about. So that's pretty much why. And, you know, I was supplementing my income because it's good to have extra income to not take from your paycheck. And sometimes you be fixing up stuff in the house and this, that, that. You know, when you're living in a house, you got that stuff. You got to pay for yourself. You ain't no man or no woman coming where I uh, dial a number, pick up the phone. They pick up the phone on the other end, say, can I help you? I'm like, no, you can't because you ain't going to pay for it. Click. <laughs> but when you're living like in a condo or um, if you're not owning it and you're renting it or um, you're in an apartment, you know, that stuff is covered. You just call them if it breaks down, whatever. When you become a homeowner and you paying a mortgage, child, please, that sink ain't working right or that extra toilet come on ain't flushing right. Ooh, you got to go between the two. And sometimes both of them just got to wait. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to pay all these other ridiculous bills. High electric bill. High gas bill. Uh, shit. I, I, you know, it's so much. You got to cut the grass. Your, your lawnmower went out. You got to go get another lawnmower, another weed eater. Uh, you might want to renovate your tub or whatever, or a shower. Or it's, it's clogging up or whatnot. There's a whole lot of stuff. And when you are a single mom, okay, you have all that on your back. And it be weighing down sometimes. So that's why I pretty much said, let me hit this YouTube up. I got a good personality. People tend to like me. And they kind of value what I say from time to time, okay? So why don't, let, why don't I let it make work for, why don't I make it work for me? So that's basically, if you didn't get to go see my uh, first time video, it tells you when I first got on YouTube, I try to introduce myself to you all, give y'all some background information about myself. And then you know, as I got on and on throughout the videos, I had to go and do a reintroduction of who I was. OK, but like I said, to say I said that to say this. I am done with this video. Y'all enjoy it. And I will be putting out more polling questions throughout the week. That matches the videos that I have also brought out for that week. So stay tuned. They drop down. If you're notified, you, you don't hit the notifications and you're subscribed to me, you will know exactly when I download a video. Okay. And upload it for y'all to see. And then, you know, you can catch my videos that drop as well. So the polling questions are on my community feed. But like I said, if you're notified, you should get those automatically as well. They should just pop up from my uh, platform, Depth Chanel's 48th World. Okay, but y'all be blessed. You know I have some more videos dropping today. So look forward to them. If you can't catch them on today, catch them throughout your week. Okay, I'm still be here. I'm still going to be uh, pressing the gas and putting those videos out as fast as I can. All right, God willing that is. So y'all be blessed. Take care and see you soon. And always subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Bye-bye. What woman? Did I tell y'all? Yeah, I said I was looking for a computer, right? So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm looking for a computer. I'm gonna get that computer, and then y'all gonna see me out live and in color coming to your screen, giving you antics from singing, probably some dancing too. It just depends. Okay, <laughs> but just want to put that out there. Bye. -bye.